This video uses a function to display a menu and then a switch and case statements to select different items in the menu. I went out one day to eat something for lunch and I came across a falafel restaurant. So I bought a falafel. It's like it has a pita bread which is also called pocket bread and it was stuffed with lettuce and cucumbers and some tomatoes and what I thought was a meatball, but then I bit into it, and the inside was green. Actually, it's fried chickpeas. It was actually very nutritious and very tasty. Well, this video shows how to create a very, very small program for a fast food restaurant, and the only things that will going to be on the menu are going to be the falafel, some drinks, and some extras. The switch statement implements a multi-way branch. The switch statement could also be implemented as an if, else if, else if, else if, else collection of statements. It's just that the switch statement is a little bit more readable. Many programming languages, they just call it a case statement. Here is a, a flow chart showing a multi-way branch and a, some sample code. Suppose somebody had a pass or a fail for like a driver's license. So somebody has to enter P or F. So we have right here is the grade, character grade, and it's enter a P or F for pass or fail. We'll input using the keyboard and then use the switch statement. If somebody entered a P, we'll say congratulations. If somebody entered an F, we'll say bummer, try again. If somebody entered anything else except a P or an F, we'll say illegal entry. Please enter P or F. We need the break statement in here. What happens is when we start off and we go and we hit the case for a P, we're going to do this and then we would just keep following through and doing all the rest of the code. The break statement causes us to end the switch and fall out and start doing the rest of the code. So if we're missing that break, we just keep going through. The default picks up everything that's left over. It's always good to have a default. What happens if somebody enters an X or a Y, or a Y or an N? We want something to happen. We want to be able to process those inputs. Another thing that happens is we're going to be comparing a direct compare for the switch. So if somebody enters a capital P, we'll go to this case where it says capital P. If somebody enters a small P for pass, nope, didn't pass. Case F didn't pass. We're going to hit the default. So small P is going to say illegal entry we would like to be able to process upper and lower case the same. Here are several ways of doing it. Option one, I'll put multiple case statements. So then case capital P and a case small p, case capital F and a case small f. So if somebody enters a capital P, since there's no break in here, we're just going to fall through and do congratulations. So a big P or a small p are both going to say congratulations. Same type of thing with the capital F. We'll do the capital F, and then, since there's no breaker, we're going to fall through and we'll execute the code, and I'll say bummer try again. Pretty cool. Another option. I want to convert my character input to uppercase. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to read the input and convert it into uppercase. Now, then I can do a switch. And so whatever somebody typed, it's already an uppercase character. So even if somebody types a lowercase character, it gets converted to uppercase. And then I'll successfully say congratulations. Here is some code for the falafel project. I'm going to use a separate function to display the menu function to not only display the menu, but also get the menu selection from the keyboard and return it as a character to main instead of having main read the input character from the keyboard. Here's part one. So oh, here's the price and the character selection. So I'm going to, each time somebody makes a selection, I'm going to add that. First thing I do is in do loop, I say display menu right down at the bottom. Here's a blank line and it says F equals falafel, S for soda, X for extras, and T for total. And I'm also going to display the prices and say make your selection. If somebody types in F, case F, I'll set my price. If the case is an 
S for soda, I'll set the price. If the K is an X for extra, I'll set the price. If it's a T, I'll break out of the switch statement, add the price to the total, and right here, if it's a T, I'm also going to break out of the do loop and display the total. Now, this display menu function, I'm placing that right at the end of my program and it's going to be placed right after the closing brace for main. I could also place it in a separate file and make that file part of the falafel project. Here's a sample execution. I'll select one falafel and I'll select a soda. And when I say T for total, I break out of the program and it says my total is $7.39. So the next time you're hungry, have a falafel.